Hi, it's Matt. Uh, just an update on trade number five, uh, ALPP. Uh, this is Alpine 4 Technologies, also known as now as uh, Alpine 4 Holdings. So yeah, we're on week 12 now. Uh, if you're new to the channel, I'm trying to turn $1,000 into 1 million by a series of trades compounding at 10% per trade. So on paper, this should say 73 consecutive successful trades to make a million from $1,000. So yeah, I'm currently on trade number five. The first four were very successful and yeah, a bunch of stuff has happened since then and currently holding uh, trade number five, which is, yeah, Alpine 4 Technologies. Uh, so no major updates with this at the moment. Uh, just gonna tell you where I'm up to with it and if there's any new news and stuff. So the stock's currently sitting at $3.63. So yeah, it's been fluctuating quite a lot again recently, but nice to see it above the $3 mark. So, and yeah, it's been sitting at four and going up and down between then you see it like some days like fluctuating like 15%. So it's kind of a, it's kind of good to see there's like the volume there as well. If you look at the numbers, like it's to move it up this much, but then down this much as well. So I don't know, the last two days, uh, the market's gone under another major correction with things. So two days ago, I think like it was really, really down. Everything was down loads. Uh, so yeah, like the Nasdaq was down, uh, S&P 500, like I think there's more due to uh, to do with like the news on unemployment or something in America. But anyway, like these things happen. Uh, so yeah, it's brought back below the $4 range, but I think in time it'll be go back up there. That you probably next week I wouldn't be surprised to see it hovering about above the $4 range again if things like sort itself out. Uh, I'm Nothing's changed for me, still pretty bullish on the stock. And I think it's going to do well. And especially with so the new news is uh, they've made a new acquisition. So they've it's, this is a bit of a CB, like it's CBD they're dealing. And uh, it's a bit of a weed play, I guess. Uh, they're quite good at identifying these like trends and stuff. So they had like, they've made a drone acquisition. They've got like a semiconductor acquisition. Like they see these things that are kind of like, there's like gaps in these markets. So like there's potential for them to grow in these areas so it's kind of nice to making these kind of decisions but i'm not sure how it ties in with the rest of the company but yeah the company they've acquired is uh, alternate labs llc so this company is international neurologic uh, neuroceutical uh, and cbd private label contract manufacturer so they kind of specialize in uh, packaging like liquid powders capsules uh what does it say here and other neuroceutical and CBD products for an array of uh, international wholesalers and retail entities. So, yeah, uh, the company itself, numbers wise, like I think they've, uh, what does it say, like they've been up like 22% every year. Oh, no, no, they made 22 million on average per year or something. And by the year 2022, they will see like an increase of like 100% in revenue. So it seems like it's a established company uh, and they've got loads of deals and stuff in place. So the it's a bit of a cash machine for them, which is good. Uh, so yeah, like I said, I'm not sure where it sits with the rest of the company, like the other holdings, but as a standalone uh, company by itself, like its own entity, it's pretty good purchase. Like it's making money, for, it will make money for them. And yeah, and I think I saw something on the internet, like some, uh, the this acquisition is only around the corner of one of their other acquisitions. I'm not sure which one it was now. I don't have this in my notes, but a uh, bit, bit weird. But yeah, uh, so there's not much else news on this. It's just a new acquisition. It's a it seems like a good one, uh, profitable, and uh, if it does continues to do well, uh, make the make the company some money. Like I think with the current revenue it's been generating, it's only been uh, working at 15% capacity, which is quite impressive, really. That is. At fifteen percent capacity, it's still generating this kind of uh, revenue. So, I think they're focusing on at the moment on like more international uh, like sales and stuff. So, it's good things to come. I think for this, and I'll just keep my keep an eye on it, I guess, and see how it goes. Like this company is crazy, really. Like they're just making new acquisitions. Like it seems like weekly now, like every two weeks. So yeah, apart from that. Of course, again, the NASDAQ uh, listing, everyone's looking forward to that. Uh, personally, I don't really want to see this happen like within the next two weeks or so. I'd like the market to like kind of get some confidence back. Like this correction's happened. Uh, I would hate for it to be listed and then the conditions just wouldn't be right for it to jump as much as I need it to. 
but we'll see. We have no control over this. Uh, it's probably, yeah, I think it's been like three months now since they announced this, or maybe longer, like 56, 57 days. So, no, I'm not sure, yeah, like, so 57 days, like just like two months, something like that. But yeah, uh, and nothing's really gone on with the NASDAQ. So, yeah, it must be just around the corner now, hopefully, uh, see how it goes. So yeah, uh, I'll post another video next week uh, on where, if any new news and stuff and where I'm sat with this uh, stock. Hopefully, yeah, see some movement. Take care. Bye.